Welcome back. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. We're taking a look at all your trending stories in our exciting world of sports. Also, the UEFA Super Cup going on live. Real Madrid taking on Manchester United. Winner of the UEFA Champions League and winner of the Europa Cup. I told you Manchester United will put up a fight and they have done just that. Yeah, Manchester United are trying as much as possible mm. to get a very, very good result and they are not going to go down without a fight. Right. And that is what they've just uh, done right now. Mm. Um, what a way to start his career. Romelu Lukaku. Well, he mm. had to score. He was always knocking at the doors, even in the first half, he knocked at the doors, although the defensive pairing of, uh, of uh, Varane and, of course, uh, 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 Sergio Ramos uh, was pretty much um, able to put him out, but then he has got to go, and right now the pressure has, lift, has, has left uh, uh, Manchester United, and it is now and Real Madrid. What will Real Madrid do? They have to bring in Cristiano Ronaldo, who is on the bench, to try as much as possible to see if they can, um, you know, score one more goal to consolidate on this mm. lead, or he'll probably go down the wire, and as I said, uh, maybe, maybe we could see an upset here. So that's what it is, Real Madrid 2, Manchester United 1, uh, UEFA Super Cup. Uh, we want to know who will become the champion of champions in that one. Let's see. Let's see. Jose Mourinho, Manchester United, can they put on a, put on a fight and then drag that game till the end? We'll continue to monitor it and I'll let you know. We told you at the start of the show that tomorrow, the uh, fourth edition of the ITTF Challenge Series, tagged Nigeria Open, will serve off in Lagos. Venue is the Teslim Balogun Stadium, Molade Okoya Thomas Hall of the Teslim Balogun Stadium. Top table tennis players from Africa and the world. They are in Nigeria. But of importance to Africa is Aaron Okwadri, who has given um, good rise to his table tennis. Uh, we caught up with him today in training. Aaron Okwadri uh, getting ready for the Nigeria Open customers. Look, he says, I just want to give my best. He says, winning the Africa Cup is a good motivation. And that for not winning, he has never won the Nigeria Open. And he believes he can do it. He has time. not even won a World Tour before. And he wants to do it. Now, tomorrow is his birthday. He wants to make sure that this is a good bet they give. I mean, in the press conference, in the international press conference this morning, I was there and he was pretty much saying that, okay, fine, we want to do something. I am going to make sure that I do something. I want a bet they give. Tomorrow is his birthday, the night of August. is his birthday and he wants a bet they give. And he feels that he can be able to get it by winning the uh, Nigerian Open. And if he does that, if he does that, mm. it's going to be a good one for him. And I, 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 think, I think it's actually a very good one. The fact that he's very, very focused. You need to see him. He's always very focused. Very humble guy. You need to see the humility there. But then, inside that humble uh, person is a warrior that wants to make sure that he gets something. He wants to win on home soil. And let us all, uh, as Nigerians, of course, we have to give him all the support and uh, right. hopefully uh, see that um, he wins this one. That's why Aaron Aquari believes he has the quality mm. to win, uh, particularly after winning at the Africa Cup. Um, and he'll be representing Africa at the ITTF World Cup in September. He says, look, I'm in this one to give my best and hopefully I'll win. Let's listen to the African champion when we come back more on the ITTF Nigeria Open. Don't go anywhere. I'm very happy, first of all, to be here again after I missed the one from last uh, year, the U2 club engagement. I'm so excited to be here again. I'm okay with the level of organization. Uh, I am going to be giving my best. I'm going to represent Nigeria very well, and I'm going to be a good ambassador of Nigeria. I'm expecting this one to be the strongest Lagos Open so far due to the, uh, the record entry list according to, according to the award ranking. So it's going, it's going to be the strongest Lagos Open so far. There is always confidence after every win. I think I'm a little bit confident now, but uh, that has gone already. Uh, it's now the present situation, which is the Lagos Open. Uh, I didn't win it before. I'm, I hope to leave the trophy this year, just like every one of the participants also won. So the objective is just to do more than the, more than the previous edition. That's it, Arnold Quadri, uh, in good spirits as we await the start of the ITTF Nigeria Open. Uh, he believes that winning the Africa Cup can point to a bigger things than this one, and I totally agree. Mm. Uh, Cosmos, um, if you can beat Omar Sa, 
to win the Africa Cup. You can actually beat him again. Uh, the only time he defeated Omar Asa at the time it wasn't even Nigeria Open. So <laughs> let's see, let's see. But Omar Asa just loves winning in Nigeria. I mean, Omar Asa's second home is Lagos, Nigeria. He has always been winning in Nigeria. And certainly the fans are usually behind him, except mm. when he's playing against the Nigerian. Anyway. <laughs> but the fans are usually behind him. Yeah. Omar Asa wants to fancy his chances in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. He knows that his nemesis is going to be Aaron Akodi. But then, don't forget, mm. there are all that people. There's Lim Ping. Mm. Now, Lim Ping is one of the best. Is Lim Ping is actually a Chinese Qatarian. He's one of the best when it comes to playing table tennis. Um, he actually won the World Tour in Belarus last year, mm. so he's one of the best. Mm. Of course, there's um, Benadek that actually won the Nigerian Open last year That's as right. well. These right. are people that Omar Asa will want to be scared of even before Aaron Akodri. Fine, Aaron Akodri is the number one seeded. He's a top seeded. Mm -hmm. But these are people that can actually, you know, Knock you down. Table tennis top te players, top table tennis and they understand players. that um, aside it just uh, playing for reputation, they're playing for the money, yep. they're playing for their rankings, mm -hmm. so they're not going to come here and smile at anyone. Exactly. But, but in all, the Nigeria Open uh, is getting better year after year. Let's listen to ITTF competition manager, chairman of the local organizing committee, also Wyden It's on show there, and then Michael Brown, who is ITTF Africa development manager. They believe that the Nigeria Open has the potential to get better and better. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. One of the best in terms of participation of the people, of crowd, of fans, I think is one of the best. And also now each player who is coming the first time here to Nigeria to play this tournament, he will come back again next year. You can, uh, you can check the list of the player. You can find that the player is coming back each year because it's very famous. Well, I think everything is in place. Um, the team has been working hard for the last four or five weeks now. And, um, you know, we've got a lot of people with the experience. We've done this before, but this year it's bigger. Um, a lot more players, better, but yes, we're ready to go from tomorrow. You have to respect the quality of the players here. Six top play 100 players in the world. That tells you the quality of players coming for this tournament. Three defending champions, four Challenge Open to tournament winners worldwide. It's going to be a fantastic tournament. In the last five years, there's been a lot of improvements, especially at the high international level. There's been athletes like Quadri Aruna from Nigeria, as well as Omar Asar and Dina Meshref from Egypt. Who, and these athletes will be competing here once again in Nigeria. So very exciting at the high level, whereas from a grassroots level, we're looking to try and assist at a, a regional level. So trying to have the African continent divided into five regions because it is so big. And then looking to have more localised competitions amongst those regions to then move on to these bigger international events as well. Within the Challenge Series, there's a number of events right around the world. There's about 12 events this year. Uh, the Nigerian Open is the highest prize money, so it is a, a highly regarded event on the Challenge Series. And we look forward to seeing some of the world's best athletes competing here.